Hello everyone, here is Frank again and I hope everyone is fine. Today we're gonna learn how to draw this guy here, Ash Ketchum. And uh, we're gonna start with a circle, simple circle for the head. And if you're new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. It's free and it only takes a second. And don't forget to activate the bell, uh, this way you're gonna be notified about any new videos I post, which is almost every day. And here I'm gonna draw where I think his cap is going to end, like this, just a basic shape. And like in most manga, characters, manga and anime characters, I'm gonna have to make a triangle at the base of the circle. Because then I'm gonna know the shape for his face. And this line here is going to place the nose. I placed um, a line slightly above to, to know where the eyes are going to start. So uh, now I take the measure from the end of his hat to uh, the end of his chin. And I think that's gonna be basically the, the place for his waist. And then I, I get roughly the measure of his head to his waist and uh, that's going to be the end of his body. It's going to be somewhere around here. So before I do anything else I'm going to uh, draw the shape of his body. It's just going to be something like this, uh, a big letter U. And I draw the center just to help me uh, know where, where I'm going to place the rest of the, the elements. So here I'm drawing the shoulders and just notice that uh, one of the shoulders is going to be slightly above the other because the arm is going to be lifted. So the basic shapes for the legs are just going to be uh, two parallel lines, not exactly parallel, but, uh, but you see that the distance between lines is going to be bigger when I get closer to the feet. Okay, so. Uh, after this, I'm going to uh, place two rectangles for the fold in his uh, in his jeans. And I sketch the, the feet very roughly. So here I measure the, the size of one of the feet to, uh, to match the size of the other. So I'm going to draw this arm with a few basic shapes and uh, I'm, I'm gonna start using circles and, uh, and a few ovals. And this is gonna be the Pokeball he's holding. So I make the pattern of the Pokeball and for his fingers holding the ball it's just gonna be uh, a few a few ovals like this. Five of them. Okay, so we're done with the first arm. The second one is gonna come from here. I lower the shoulder a bit. The sleeve for his shirt. Then the arm is going to be bent. And then for his face I make this uh, funny geometrical shape because his face is going to be in perspective. Like this and a few lines to indicate the fingers. These curved lines are just gonna be the, the glove. His thumb. Okay, now that we have this, uh, let's start working on the face. His nose is just gonna be an arrow to the right. And I make a very simple mouth in the shape of a letter U.
So I'm marking these lines next to the mouth because uh, I, I know that's where uh, his eyes are going to start. So I'm going to have the eyebrows interrupting the eyes, like this, and um, well I'm not quite satisfied with the shape of his head, I think it's a bit too thick, so I'm going to uh, make it a bit thinner, like this. So his irises are just going to be very long ovals right here two letters Z for his cheeks and then I'm gonna make the cover of his cap just have to refine the shapes I had already established This is just a triangle with a part missing. So just a couple of letters C for the ears and nothing very complicated. Now with a few pointed lines I, uh, I draw the hair. So there's this chunk of hair in the front, covering part of his face, so... Now let's go for the clothes. I think it's a good idea to draw the body first without any complicated elements and, and then we just place the clothes and accessories after we're done. So here I'm drawing the, the belt and his jacket is gonna come from the neck, extending a bit below the belt. So I'm gonna make his color overlapping his his arm, his sleeve. So line here to make a distance, and then I draw a line down for the other side of his uh, his jacket. Now I'm, I'm gonna make some fold for his jeans, like this. A couple of vertical lines. And then there's gonna be a slight curve here, but the external part of his jeans is just gonna be a straight line. Slightly curved on the other leg. And another straight line. So all I have to do now is look at some reference and finish the pattern for his shoes. It's all going to be geometrical shapes. So I think we're done, uh, basically I have to revise, see if I have forgotten anything and I see that there are a couple of things missing.
So I think it's good to go and I'm going to use a thicker marker for the external lines because I think it's going to look better. I'm using colored pencils but you can use whatever you have at hand, maybe felt tip pens, as long as it looks good and you feel comfortable with the medium. Alright guys, so Ash is ready to catch the next Pokemon. So if you have enjoyed this process, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, it's very important for us. And you can even leave us a comment telling me what you want to learn next. So thank you very much for being with me up to this point, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!